Hello everybody, so we are out here at the liquor distribution branch out in Delta BC. I am out here with BC Paul and with Fundamentally Free Canadian. And uh, we figured we'd come out and check things down in this area. We found the liquor control branch here, oh, which is government run. Uh, Paul, there's a FedEx building up about a block or two, which Paul may be walking up to. Um, we, we may walk up there. We may walk up there as well, but we're going to check out uh, the front of the distribution branch. Or, you know, see what we see. Stop by or send your resume to bclickerstores.preveueapps.ca. It is, it's not a lot of money. All right, so you see here on this sign, we're looking at, so I'm gonna have to lower my tripod here a bit. I'm skipping along the ground a little too much while I'm carrying it. Anyway, so we're looking at control brand sign here, we've got administration ship receiving, hospitality pickup, we'll move out of the driveway a little bit, so I can take a look at the security gate here. So, they do have a secure gate to get into the back of the building, um, small parking lot up front, which we may or may not walk into, we'll see what kind of reaction we get as we stand out here on the sidewalk. Building over there. So, I'm not sure why I hear it, folks, but my camera is feeling really loose on this tripod today. So, I don't know what these wait here signs are about. They've got a bunch of tents out here with signs in front of them saying wait here I don't know what that's about I don't know if uh, you're phoning in order or what it seems kind of weird um, I don't know what the hell the tents are for I don't know what the hell you're waiting for but I guess they got some kind of driving service here at the liquor distribution bench we'll make our way along here Spreading out here a little bit now, so we're all talking over each other on our films here, what we're getting. So Paul's walking up ahead of me here, ways. Got fundamental free Canadian back here, but we're keeping an eye on each other. This is a apparently. Sorry, I'm probably getting you in the sun there a little bit, but. Uh, this is an assembly area for shipping and receiving. Apparently, out here on the sidewalk. That's really, really, really weird. I don't know what that's about. Um, I'm gonna try and tuck behind this little tree here a little bit better and get a little closer shot of the sign here. It's liquor controlled branch of BC. Delta BC is where we're at. Um, totally warehouse district actually down here, so I'm gonna just pan around. It's all warehouses down here. I know there's some people out here, here, Dan, if you're watching, I'm not gonna be shouting at any of these warehouses. Um, and I'm specifically focused on the liquor control branch in this case, because it is uh, government. Oh, and somebody is, this car was just driving slowly by me here. And they have stopped down by Fundamentally Free Canadian here. 
and they're having a little conversation. So let's walk back and see what's happening. So what did he have to say? He was slowing down by me, but... Yeah, that's why I kind of threw my camera, but uh, he was just uh, curious as to uh, what we were doing. Asked for independent media. And uh, he told him, yeah, we're just making sure that uh, they're not sitting there on their phones, wasting our money. And he goes, yeah, where would I check this out? I said, hey, just look up uh, liquor distribution board in uh, Delta and it'll, it'll be there on YouTube. Picked him up, so I put a little camera, and now he's out here with me and Paul, doing what is his first audit. Um, you know, Paul actually uh, stopped by my, our house earlier today um, and uh, we met officially for the first time and, you know, we were just hanging out for a couple hours talking about this and that and uh, we said, hey, let's go for a drive and see what we see. So we're out here just doing a little check. So like I said, this car, the car that just slowed down and just having a little chat back here. Came out of this driveway. It's apparently the hospitality pickup. Uh, how you doing? Look me up uh, if you want to look up my channel, sure. Canadian Rights Reviews. I think I might be a fan of you guys. I haven't met you guys yet. So. No, oh. I'm new. Okay. He's brand new. This is his first time out. Okay. Um, my, my second time out, but my channel's been up for a while because I review other people's videos. Um, so I, I review most of the other Canadian auditors' videos and analyze them for law and all that stuff. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're, uh, you know, we just decided to come out and see what we saw today. Um, the other guy that was walking ahead of us there He's been filming a lot of the police in Surrey lately. Police giving him a really hard time just for filming. So we're probably going to be here. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. they've unlawfully detained him, given him parking tickets where he's allowed to park. Stuff so, like that. That's what we're looking to okay. you know showcase. What, uh, I'll, I'll get in touch with you through your website. Yeah, yeah, my email, sir. Absolutely. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. You guys. guys have a good day, man. Keep on doing work. Yeah. yeah. You guys too. So that turned out even better than I thought. That's the same guy that had... Uh, Stopped and was talking to fundamentally free here. Have a good day, guys. He uh, he came back and he uh, he handed me his phone number. I'm not going to show it there, but he he handed me a piece of paper with his name, his phone number, and an email on there. He said contact me because I guess he's interested in what we're doing and I guess he follows this kind of stuff. So we had a little chat there. Yeah, that was good. That's about good my uh, channel name and uh, what we're doing and so we have another gated area back here this is all like a control bench as well i'm not sure if how well you see that oh, look at this we got ourselves a little bunny folks little bunny i'm not sure if you can see it there uh my oh he goes up with curb really hard to see now he's moving away from me we must have a little store or transit or something nearby i'm pretty sure i see this guy leaving earlier when i was down here now he's coming back so Maybe they've got a little subway down the road because he appears to be carrying some subway. Uh, it's not Jared, but I'm sure uh, subway would consider that a uh, an improvement. You know, we've gotten a few looks, but uh, for the most part, nobody's saying anything. We have a gentleman sitting over here by the tents uh, that have the wait here signs, like it's a drive-in service he just looks like he's just on his break sitting on his phone maybe chatting to his girlfriend playing some texas hold'em i'm not sure look at this another bunny holy crap there's bunnies all over the place around here little bunnies and you know i'll i don't know about where you guys live but i know out here very unusual you usually only see them first thing in the morning twilight when the sun's just coming up two bunnies Six o'clock in the in the evening or six thirty p.m. Whatever time it is right now, very unusual. Um, give him a minute or two more, then I'm probably uh, going to walk up and see how BC Paul's doing. Yeah, it doesn't look like much is happening here. We're getting z no, zero reaction. 
for my liquor distribution branch. So, I am probably, uh, yeah, I'm going to walk up there and make sure he's all right. All right. I'm going to uh, walk up to FedEx here, see how Paul's doing, make sure he's okay. I think uh, fundamentally free. Canadian is sticking here at the liquor control branch or liquor distribution branch. Same thing. Sorry, folks, if, uh, if I'm using the uh, body cam footage here, I'm sticking my fingers in front of the camera while I try, try to turn it to face the right way. Look at this, a third rabbit. What is going on, man? They're like breeding like rabbits out here. Oh my. Sorry, guys. Now with this action cam is being a pain in the shoulder harness, but I keep having to adjust it here. All right. There's still no fundamentally free behind me. That bothers me a little bit, but he's a big, he's a big boy. He's got more years on this earth than me, so he should be all right. Man, I can't believe the number of rabbits out here at this time of day. Like I said, I've seen plenty of rabbits out, but it's usually first thing in the morning, twilight hours, never at this time of day, and I've seen three in the time I've been here. I said, I think they've been breeding like rabbits out here. And that's not for lack of better of a term, that's, that is the term, right? Breeding like rabbits. Apparently they procreate a lot and have large litters or whatever they're called for rabbits. You'd have to have Bugs but Axe Bug Bunny on that. I know that's not funny, but it's just what came out of my mouth. Getting a little bit more of a breeze down here. I hope it's not uh, messing up the sound too much for you guys. Oh, here we go. Bunny rabbit has allowed me to get. Can we see him here in the video? I'm looking for my viewfinder. He's just by that shadow right there. I'm about oh 35 feet from him. I'm not even sure if you can see him there. There he is. He's starting to move a little bit. Let's see if we can uh, focus in on him a bit. Right there, little rabbit. He's probably going to scoot if I get much closer. Little brown rabbit. I'm not sure if it's a rabbit or a hare. Look at that. He's letting me get very close. I'm about 20 feet from this little rabbit right now. So you can now call me CRR, Rabbit Auditor. I'm sure I'll pick up many funny nicknames as we go along. And he's scooting. There he goes. Doesn't like how close I got. All right, so I'm not sure if uh, Paul has seen a bunch of action here or what, but he's still up here, the FedEx, from the FedEx building. I think I just saw in the parking lot what looked like maybe, maybe a security car coming up. No, it's not a security car. It's just a Beamer with a roof rack. But I'm not sure if he's been having any contact up here or not, but he's been up here for a while, so come up and check on him, see what's what. Hey, how's it been going up here? Uh, besides the driver, driving like assholes, so far so good, lucky looky loose, but down there, nothing? Uh, we actually had a car do a real slow roll by me. Is that the, is that the white one? No, no, a little blue car. Okay, well, there was a, a white Suburban driving around too. I also mentioned it. So what he did is he came up and slowed down, went around this building, this one here. Yeah. He came around and slowed down here and went on the road. And uh, I, saw, I saw him. Uh... I'm not going to spend a ton of time here, but since we're up here, yeah, take I saw, a... I saw him, uh, Take a quick look. This is the FedEx building down here. Get a quick shot of that sign over there. FedEx building down here in Delta, BC. Looks like a main distribution center. 
Um, FedEx truck coming in. Anyway, no, uh, the car did a real slow, real slow rolled up by me. And he stopped, was fundamentally free, and started talking to him. So I started walking back because I was actually heading up here at the time. And he was gone? No, he was still there. And it uh, sounded like a good conversation. Okay. He was just asking what, what was going on. What was, are you guys independent media, this and that. So we had a quick chat with him, and he went on his way. And then I started coming up this way again. And he came back, and he stopped by me. And he actually, I won't show this on camera, I got this off. but he handed me a uh, paper with his name and his phone number and his email and he said, can we call sometime? Because I guess he's a fan of what we're doing. Oh, good for you, bro. Um, good so, for you. so I told him my channel name, told him to check me out. Good for you, man. Love to hear that story. What's that? What are you guys doing? Just um, a little filming. Filming you now. <laughs> Just a little public filming. Uh, doing the, just doing the story. Oh. Yep. Yeah. So, I guess this guy's just curious. He's not uh, coming for FedEx. He's actually, I'm not sure what business is up here. We looked at this earlier. There's a little dirt road here that says no public access. I am not entirely sure what's up there. But I guess he got his answer. He's either satisfied or not. If he's not, I'm sure he'll be making a phone call. <laughs> Rights, reviews? Right, freedom, uh, freedom reviews here, guys. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, that's how it goes, right? If he's not happy, he's going uh, he's gonna to make a phone call. Whatever. So, not much happening up here at FedEx. I, like I said, uh, the entire time I've been down at the uh, liquor distribution branch here, Paul's been pretty much up here at FedEx. It's been as quiet down here as it was up where I was. Um, I've seen rabbits and he's seen fast delivery trucks, and that's about it. <laughs> that's it guys, that's what we've seen. But we got some amazing videos coming up everyone, so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. So we're going to head back, we're going to find Fundamentally Free. Make sure uh, he's not either A, been kidnapped by the Popo or the liquor distribution branch, and B, What's more likely, he broke into the liquor distribution branch and he's drowning himself in alcohol. Um, See, this guy's driving at a decent speed limit here. That's yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. What would you say the posted speed limit here is? 40? I'd say 50. 50? Yeah. Pretty standard on little roads back like this, unless there's some kind of construction or school. 50 clicks for you Americans, that's about 30 miles an hour. Uh, it's pretty standard, standard on most surface streets in the city. Um, that could be him, I didn't think we were that far back, but he looks to be a little further back then. Yeah, so he came in the, the, the white suburban, I got him on video, he came in this way, and then he came out here, and then he, uh, Came up here obviously at normal speed and he creeped. I had him on brake lights, right? Yeah, yeah. And he just creeped by you guys. I'm like, hey, this guy's up to something. Yeah, I didn't. I thought uh, he was a cop. I didn't even see the suburban. Yeah. I saw the little blue car, like I said, that stopped and talked to us. But no, at first I thought it was an undercover vehicle, right? It's, uh, yeah, I didn't think the uh, where we were standing at the liquor distribution branch was that far, but that could be him, or maybe he went back to the vehicle. Yeah, Uh, well, half shorts, you know, like cargo shorts. Yeah, he might just be kind of done and hanging out back by the vehicle, I'm not sure. Well, this next building here, not this one, but the next one, is the liquor control branch, I think. That's why I say it still looks a little far down. And, holy cow, I'm recording a lot. Like you said, when my uh, big camera gets to four gigs, it stops recording. I just started it for the third time. Yeah, I've, uh, I've stopped and recorded a few times, right? I think the small camera's been going the whole time. And wow, I look up and my camera's pointed at my hat. It's, uh, I don't know what's going on with this tripod today. It's really loose. It's fine, I just hold the head so it doesn't turn. 
Yeah, he's right I'll have there. to look. Yeah, that's him. I have to look at it when I get home. I don't know what the hell this is, but these are some colorful vehicles, folks. There's a whole bunch of vans here. I don't know if it's a company and this is just the way they drive around or if they rent them out for something. Maybe they're party, little party buses. I have no idea. But uh, some colorful paint jobs in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Little vans I can see from here. I don't know what it's about. Well, let's see the sign they are parked in front of here. We'll make my way around and look. This is escape camper vans. So that's what these are, little camper vans. So I guess they rent them out. Oh yeah, camper vans. That is so cool. So I guess they uh, rent out some colorful camper vans. So I don't know. I don't know what the idea. I guess they want to be fun. I don't know if I'd be caught dead driving one of them. <laughs> but, hey. All right, so coming back, liquor distribution branch. Doesn't look like we're gonna get anything else here, so I'm sure we'll be wrapping up here. See, look at this, there's another sign here. I don't get these signs out on the sidewalk. So this sign is wholesale cups, customer pickup, Inventory management maintenance assembly area. Why is the assembly area on the sidewalk? I don't understand. There's actually another sign up here for another assembly area. Yeah, there's another one up here that's a different assembly area. I think I am done here. I'm going to leave the uh, action camera running until we get in the vehicle and get out of here. Just for safety, but... Yeah, nobody's Unless anything else happens, that's going to be it.